What's up guys, M here, and we are back with the God Squad for battle number six. Yeah, and it's actually two battles in one, because the battle I had after the first battle was pretty awesome, so I decided to upload that too. But, I do want to apologize because I was not able to upload the rest of these sessions last week. There is a pretty cool reason for that though, and it's actually because my roommate and I finally moved into our new place. So yay, I finally get my own bedroom. But the reason is actually that we did not have internet all weekend. And you can't upload a video to the internet without having internet because that's how the internet works. So yeah, that aside from, you know, just unpacking, moving things from the old place to the new place, all the good stuff that goes along with moving. So we've been pretty busy. But now here it is, we're getting this battle up and getting into it. This guy's got a pretty weird team, but you know what? I'm all for weird teams, obviously. So he's gonna lead off with Ariados, I thought he would. We got literally a ferret who's just gonna U-turn, break the focus ash, and go into rabies. And he's gonna get a sticky web as we get our guts going. I'm just gonna flame wheel in case you want to switch to Aegislash. It's also super effective. But he's gonna agility, and right here, I outspeed him. So I don't know how that's possible or what move he went for, but that was weird. Now Aegis Slash is in, I'm going to go back to literally a ferret, in case he wanted to Swords Dance, I kind of wanted to trick him a Scarf. He ends up just attacking, so that's cool. I'm going to trick him a Scarf anyway, because I think that would be useful. So now he's locked in a Flash Cannon, so we can go into God's Beaver and start setting up all over his face. There's an Amnesia, so now he's not going to be able to touch me at all, he's going to have to switch. So we're going to get up a Curse right now. Now Gudra, what's he going to do, T-Bolt me? I'm going to go for another Amnesia, but guess what? This thing has Dragon Tail, so that sucks. But now the Noon's in here, I'm like, you know what? Maybe we could take a hit. So we're going to go for the Belly Drum. Turns out we can, so now things are looking pretty good. We can Extreme Speed, take that thing out, no problem. He's going to send in Talon Flame, but what are you doing? Extreme Speed out-prioritizes your Brave Bird, so that sucks for you. But unfortunately, Aegislast has a Scarf, so... He's going to be able to take me out. But we can go right back to God's Beaver. And I know he's going to switch, so I'm not even going to bother with the Amnesias. Go right for the Curse as he goes to Diggersby. I know after a Curse we could take a hit. Power Up Punch? That doesn't do anything. Here's a Waterfall. He's going to easily take that thing out. Now he's going to go into his Manectric. And I'm just going to get off a Quick Attack, which does a nice 61%. But we do die to the Electro Ball, which is kind of an interesting set. And he saves his Mega Evolution, which I think was a pretty good idea, because now he can get the Intimidate on my Stoutland. Unfortunately, it is not enough. We do take him out. And Crunch is not going to do that much to Aegislash, because we did get Intimidated. But it's no problem at all, because we got Diggersby, who's going to take a hit, even if it's a crit. No problem. And there's an Earthquake to clean it up. Even if we didn't live, Raticate had Sucker Punch, so we were in a pretty good position. Now, let's get into the second battle. As you can see, it's a pretty solid OU team, and it turns out to be pretty fun, and you'll see why. So we got literally a ferret once again. I see this is a banded Azumarill. I don't know if tricking it a Choice Scarf would have necessarily been beneficial, so I'm just going to switch right to Sup Dog, get the Intimidate, hit him with a nice return. Unfortunately, we're going to go down, but now we got God's Beaver. I think maybe I could take a hit, so I'm going to start setting up curses. But he does go into Jirachi, and we all know what's going to happen. He's going to body slam, we're going to get paralyzed, and we can't do anything. So now he goes for an Iron Head, but guess what? We break through and do a nice 55% to that Jirachi. So what are the odds that we can do that again? We do. So get your ass out of here, Jirachi. Bibberl is not taking your shit today. Now he's got a zoom roll. We're going to quick attack. That's nice, he's going to double edge, but we can take that no problem. And you know what? God's Beaver isn't done, because I don't think he wants to lose his Azumarill to a quick attack. I think he's going to switch to Excadrill, so we're going to go for the Waterfall, and God's Beaver is just destroying this guy's team right now. Now Guja's in here, but we get paralyzed. Then he flamethrowers, I don't know why, but now we got another chance and we get paralyzed. So, Bibberl's going to go down. But remember that last battle? Remember when Lanoon set up a belly drum and then took a hit? Well guess what? Lanoon sets up a belly drum and takes a hit. 
And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the last battle of the session, and finally, the noon gets his sweep. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this battle. I hope you've enjoyed this whole session. It's been fun. Um, if you guys have, you know, feel free to leave likes on these videos because that would be very awesome. And yeah, we do still have that one more live showdown session coming up. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching. See ya.